guys welcome welcome back to my channel this is me alicia if this is your first time here and if not welcome back all right first of all let's go ahead and get this out of the way because i know that we're gonna get some questions no my hair is not dyed this is a color wax that i got from target um it is ors i'll put it in the description box for you guys to check that out but no i'm obsessed so you'll probably see this color all summer i really wanted to dye my hair but everybody that i had talked to that had previously dyed our hair was like no sis um damages your hair don't do it find a different route and so I was gonna try to do like a rinse I didn't want to have to deal with it saw Instagram I think Instagram like is recording my conversations because I literally had never gotten an ad about this color wax before and the day after I was talking about it to another girlfriend or to my sister th this pops up in an ad either way it goes I'm thankful got it at Target I'll link it below if you want it so that's what's going on up here of course you guys know all of my jewelry is fearless jewelry um quite simple makeup routine I posted this on my story before no foundation just concealer some powder some blush everything but foundation okay so that's what's going on with my face I think that's it yeah let's get into the video all right so we have a different style video you guys know that lately i have been doing what i wore this week just trying to get myself to get up and get dressed and put some clothes on and be be i don't know functional on a daily basis so i have i'm still going to do those don't worry but i've had a lot of people ask me hey um i love how you're able to like recreate different types of outfits and this is very true um uh, while i have a lot of clothes or at least I think I have a lot of clothes some people think I don't I am really um, creative when it comes to styling the existing clothes that I have and I am a keen proponent to where if I can't style that same piece like four different times and I'm just not gonna get it um, so this is going to be the first of many different styling videos um, Everyone, all, everyone always asks for this one first, so that's why this one is coming first. So today is a video on how I style my white v-neck tees. You guys know that white tees are like a staple in my closet. Like, that's my white section. There's a lot, right? But I love a white tee. I love all that you can do with a white tee. So this is going to be a simple v-neck short sleeve tee i got it from express i am wearing a size medium um i will link that below and i think i'm giving you my goal is to give you five different looks so it's going to give you a skirt a short a dress um a jean and then i colored something whether it's a colored a different color skirt or a different color pant or something like that so five different looks with one piece and then that way while you're out like looking or even if you're trying to um style your closet these can kind of give you like ideas and inspiration. Um, I made sure that I pull looks that I know I can have the links to, so I'll be able to link um, maybe not exactly everything because I know some stuff is sold out in certain colors, but um, link some stuff or most of the stuff that's very, very similar. Also, because we have redone my cloth is i will be recording in here um it's bright it's light it's airy the sun is out it's shining so i think i'll be able to get good adequate lighting in here um i think that's it yeah and then as i record i'm gonna kind of normally i will pop some music on here and kind of just like show you the outfits i'm gonna actually be on here talking to you guys telling you guys like where i would wear this outfit or if i have worn the outfit kind of where i wore the outfit um too so let me quit talking because i am rambling and let's get into this first look okay so i normally save the best for last i'm getting my best <laughs> outfit out of the way right now um white we love it we like it so of course you guys know i'm not going to mention this over and over again you guys know the white v-neck these are a pair of shorts that i got from a local store here in um birmingham called molly green um no it wasn't it's called lizard thicket sorry but i did see some on asos that i'll be able to link they're a little tight i got the medium because she said oh they fit oversized and that would be the cake if they be with a case if there was some stretch there's no stretch no stretch any shorts so i got a medium but i mean i'll just live with it i'm losing weight hopefully so we'll be able to fit them comfortably and then this is actually an oversized cream shirt that i got from molly green um and then like i got these back in january when monroe Steele was talking about them and have been so excited to wear them i've already worn them like three or four times just with like casual everyday outfits but so excited to be getting more wear into them now that we are in the summertime so 
This is actually an outfit I am wearing to the beach. I am going to the beach next weekend or next week with my family. It's my nephew's spring break, so we're going to relax and do all that kind of stuff. So this is actually something that I will probably wear, like, probably either to the beach and I'll put my bathing suit under it or... If I'm walking, a lot of times I like to get up in the morning, catch the sunrise, or walk late at night, catch the sunset. Just a little bit of like self-love time for me. And so this is easily something that I can throw on. If it's hot, I can take this off. But especially if I'm doing sunrise or sunset, I'm going to keep this on because it's got a little bit of warmth to it. So this is definitely my favorite outfit. And it's giving you, like I said, the shirt, a short outfit option. All right, moving on to look two, which is probably what you'll see me in at least once a week is jeans and a tee. Um, so I kept it simple, same top, except for I have it uh, with a knot in the back. Then in the front, these are a pair of paper bag jeans that I got surprisingly from um, American Eagle. They do have some at Abercrombie and Fish that I'll also link below just because I've... Um, I'm more familiar with Abercrombie and Fitch. I actually got these online at Thread Up Online Boutique, like on online thrift store. Don't worry, that's coming up next because I got some cute stuff from Thread Up. That's a whole different video that I probably should be recording sooner than later. Anyway, and then you guys have seen these. If you have seen any of my styling videos, this pair of green mules that I got from um, Belk. Um, and then this hat is actually going to be a part of my fedora collection that is coming out April the 21st. Um, you can click the link in the bio to get on the notification list so that when it drops, you won't miss all of this goodness. <laughs> so yeah, this is a hat. And then this is a green Telfar bag that I am like low-key obsessed with Telfar. Um, anyway, so I got it in green. I've also got it in a little oversized in beige or tan and then I got it in gray so um I'm supporting okay because if I can afford the uh Fendi and the Gucci that you guys see I can afford a black owned brand so <laughs> making sure that I do all I can to support in that but guys this is basically I will wear this if I'm pressed for time and I need to pull together an outfit quickly I will do this in a absolute heartbeat it's easy it's quick it's simple the paperback pants hides any of the food pile that Mika might be going on gives me extra room to eat or to go to happy hour so this is normally like this is everything I could this is basically one of my go-to outfits errands happy hours date night brunches lunches coffee anything this is one of those you know end all be all type outfits so definitely love this simple look and then of course the accessories like if I didn't have this hat or this I think people underestimate the power of a simple outfit and just using the accessories to elevate it because this hat takes this outfit from blah to oh. And then, of course, when you add the green with the bag and then the green and the mules, it just brings it all together. So don't feel like you have to, like, go out and get the latest fashions when actually you probably should be upgrading your accessories game, like the necklaces I have on. Fearless jewelry. Link in the bio. Uh, link in the description box. Like, upgrade your accessories. And then if your outfits are still blah, well, man, maybe that's telling you that you need to switch out some of your pieces in your wardrobe. But don't automatically assume that your clothes are outdated. Just can you update them using your accessories? Okay. That's it for this TED Talk. So <laughs> let's go to look number three. Okay, so this look just like brings out the bohemian <laughs> in me. I saw it in the store and I'm just like, oh, I love it. I normally can't get anything like this because like I said, my thighs are just not proportionate to my waist. So I either get it and it's too tight on my thighs or it just looks entirely too big. And so I end up putting it back, but found this at a local boutique store here. I did see it also. They had it online at ASOS, so I'll be able to link that. And guys, how is this not like the cutest? Like, let me back up. How is this not like the cutest outfit? Tell me this isn't cute. It's cute, right? Anyway, so I got it. Um, I do have, like I said, I have on the plain white tee. I do have it back tucked in the side, and then I just have it like up really, really tight or up really, really high. I'm showing a little bit of skin, but I don't think you have to show um, that much. You could get... Um, an actual crop top I'll actually link that one below it's one that I got from Target it's up there somewhere and it's actually crops a little stop here so you'll actually be able to see a little bit of skin which is fine I'll probably switch that out but for today's video I want to show you guys the same tee um, different ways that's why I kept this on but it's cute I also think that because my hair is a different color like I, it's 
like I feel like this is a whole vibe I don't know where I'm going I've actually worn this before when I went to go um, antiquing it's kind of like a habit that I have I have nowhere to put any of the things that I got so all of my antiques are just like sitting in the garage waiting for me to get my dream house and then I can put them all there so it's like my style my housing style is probably like bohemian with a mix of antiques i love it anyway so i actually worn this out it's actually really comfortable i had it on for most of the day and then i actually worn these exact same shoes which are a pair of sam edelman um sandals that i got from belk they have this style that comes out every year they just have like different colors so i actually got this last season they have like a brown and white and then they have a beige one i'll link whatever colors that they have below but if you are looking for a comfortable shoe a comfortable sandal to wear all day these are definitely those and i don't even remember what um i may have either had on like that coach or probably um that speedy bag anyway it goes i had something that i didn't have to like put i had a strap on so it couldn't have been that speedy because there's no strap either way it goes she was cute she was antiquing she got some things and so i just thought this was really cute all right for those people you guys know that I don't dress up that often because I'm the queen of comfort. But every now and then, <laughs> I would throw some heels on. So that's exactly what this outfit is. I actually wore it about two weeks ago, a week and a half ago, um, for my sister's birthday. Now, I didn't wear the white tee because she was doing, like, shades of, like, nudes and browns. Um, so I actually did a different screen tee, a Bob Marley screen tee. I'll put that in the description box if you guys want it. Um, but everything else from the waist down, I did wear. So I have this very very short it's not that short the slit is just more than i anticipated from asos it feels amazing i don't even know what material this is it just feels really good and then the way it's designed it kind of like hides the food pot that i have my dior bag that i got for christmas and then these are just some um heels that my friend got me from dallas but you can get them on ego shoes i think that's how you say it so this is what we are looking like like i said this is very this is not an everyday thing for me. This is not even an every an every week. It is a situation where it's a birthday dinner, right? It is where me and husband are going to a date night and the restaurant is a little bougie. <laughs> it is um, if I'm going to a happy hour with some of my girlfriends and it's extra bougie. It's There has to be a reason. Like I'm not just wearing this out, but I love the skirt. It gives. Um, so this is definitely something that I'll have in my wardrobe for a while. That's why I wasn't like really that bad to pick it up. The only thing that I might change is I might get um my because there's there's basically nothing to stop it from going up so i'll probably get my tailor to put in something to kind of like stop it from going here so i'll probably put in something here so that it it doesn't like you know wind and then it hits it so i'll probably get her to do something along those lines to kind of like stop it put like a i don't even know what you call it a hem a stoppage whatever around like right here so that this is as high as it goes um especially if i'm like sitting down i don't need anybody to see my goods while i'm trying to sip some cocktails so that is what we're looking like we took a very elevated skirt and we made it very casual by putting on this knit but then we're still keeping a little zhuzhi with some block heels you could always do sandals with this um i haven't done it with that just because i think this skirt is a little bit elevated so i kind of want to keep everything else elevated and then it's okay if i kind of do more of a casual type on the top so okay i started with a white outfit i felt it only necessary to end with a white outfit i'm also giving you guys a colored jean i gave you guys a regular blue jean i wanted to give you guys a colored jean so let's just get into it same shirt i actually do not have it tucked i have it um or not to have it tucked here on the side and then it kind of gives me the illusion i'll probably do the same thing over here i don't know i kind of Anyway, it's kind of like a messy look. These are a pair of Rivers Island jeans. Love their jeans um, that I got from ASOS. They, when you get them, I would get your size. Guys, here's a note. If you wear an eight, get an eight. When you first put on the eight, it's going to feel tight. But I don't know whatever fabric that they use, the jeans give. And so we'll eventually give on your um on your body i only know that because i'm normally a size eight so i ordered an eight i was like oh these are too tight so i messed around and ordered a 10 and by the time i was wearing the 10 around not these jeans just a, diff a different pair of jeans as i was wearing the 10s they got entirely too big and so i'm like okay went online read some of the reviews they said the jeans eventually give so in these i actually am a size eight i got these in an eight they barely button the first time and now look look at all this thing that i have in them i've lost no weight 
don't hype me up i've lost no weight it's just the fabric in the jeans <laughs> anyway so i'm pairing a white pair of oversized jeans i actually love these jeans it's the first pair of white jeans that have like the different the different color threading in them i saw them and i was like oh cute and that threading runs like all the way down and they're kind of like um wide leg so i love that have the little thread going on through the back i love them and then i'm just pairing them i'm being a little bougie right because i feel like white you have to like elevate it, especially if it's all white. So I'm pairing it with my Bomb Dia mules that I got. And then I actually just got this little baby in. I didn't do a review because I'm going to do a luxury update um, at the beginning of the year. But I got this puppy in from Fashion File. She was vintage. Loved her. Um, I had to end up getting the strap separately. So she's cute. She was actually more inexpensive than I thought. So that is what we are looking like today. Um, I probably will not wear this outfit to the beach because when I go to the beach with my family, it's not to be bougie. They don't want to go anywhere, especially with COVID. It's just going from the beach to the house to the house to the beach to the beach to the house to the house to the beach. It's basically going to be our travel route the whole time we're down there. And so I'll probably save this when me and my husband go to San Juan in April or a different kind of like trip. Or hell, I might just wear it out because... Who needs an excuse to wear all white? Anyway, so this was <laughs> going to be a little bit more of an elevated look, but still I'm keeping it very casual with the flats down here. I also love that they don't scrub the ground. So I thought I was going to have to worry about wearing heels. You guys know she's not a heels person. So I like that these fit like right at my um, ankle. So I don't have to worry about wearing heels for reference. Like I said, I did get a size eight and I'm a size, I'm a, I, I, Sorry, I got a size eight and I am five, five and a half. Okay, five, four and a half. Anyway, five, five. So that is what we are looking like for this last all white look. All right, so guys, I hope you have enjoyed this um, styling video. Like I said before, I will make sure that I link um, everything that I possibly can. If I can't link the exact same thing, I'll link something similar and make sure that I put that in the description box for you so you don't come coming for me um, in the description box. Um, if you have made it this far and you have not subscribed, please don't forget to subscribe. Also click the notification bell. Um, if you are interested in a different styling video, so like one something worn so many ways, put that in the description box. There are a couple of um, videos that I am thinking about doing but I kind of want to get your input as well so I know to add it to the list and this is literally just all about finding ways to reinvent the clothes the clothes that are already in your closet I tell you guys this all the time please don't go broke trying to keep up with influencers that buy stuff try it on and then take it back Okay, that's not what we're doing on this channel. We're actually buying stuff that we like. We're actually going to wear it over and over and over and over again Okay, because that's what normal people do <laughs> got it so don't forget to follow me on instagram check out my blog and i'm gonna catch you guys a little bit later bye con dios